you guys and welcome to my channel welcome back if you're a returning subscriber and welcome if you are new I have a ton of new subscribers on here so I just wanted to introduce myself my name is Renelle and I'm the mother of four girls my girls are seven three and a half one and a half and four months I am I got engaged about a year ago and I started my budgeting journey about a year ago we started out at 70,000 in debt and I believe we are in the 50,000s now. It's still pretty high. Most of it is me medical. I will be doing an updated uh, debt video here soon, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get into this. I did label this January paycheck number two because technically we got paid on December 30th but we use that for January bills. So even though this is the first paycheck, technically it's the second paycheck for our bills. I hope that makes sense. So I have my money right here. If you missed my budget with me, I will link that down below. I went over all of our budget, how I budget, my spending trackers. Uh, I showed you guys what I spent over the last two weeks. And I also showed you what's new on my Etsy shop, like these, these are placeholders. Um, these are for your money, so when you reach $500, you'll take the $500 out and you'll go put it in the bank and then replace it with one of these. Or And then same with the $1,000 category. So if you hit $1,000 in any of your sinking funds, you'll go ahead and replace that with this. So these are on my Etsy shop. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I love this bag. It was a birthday gift to me. Yes, it is an actual coach bag. I love it. Um, let's go ahead and get in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my money and set my purse to the side. It has like a really long chain to wrap around you. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and set this to the side. So I have my cash total slip here. This is how much our paycheck should be and our denominations. These are also on my Etsy shop. Um, and they are laminated so you can reuse them, but yeah, so let's go ahead and count my money and see if we got the correct amount back. So we should have $1,505. Let's go ahead and double check that we do. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,001. Sorry, my bills are like really sticking together. So 1,100. Oh shoot, my money is like all messed up. Let me fix this really quick. How was your guys' new year? Um, I know for people who, I know some people don't watch um, budgeting videos, like the budgeting the paycheck, but they like watching the cash stuffings. So if you missed my last video because you are one of those people, um, how was your new year's? I hope this year treats you well. Sorry, I don't know why my money was all like messed up. So, so we have 1,100, so now we have 1,150, 2, 250, 3, 350, so 1,350, 370, 1,470, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1,505 dollars right here. So that is correct. We did get the correct denominations. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to need my calculator, so I'm going to slide that over. And if you're curious what this is, um, that's actually my printer. Um, so don't mind that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. My blue binder is my bill binder and my cash expenses. These envelopes were sent to me from a subscriber of mine. I love them. They're so cute. So, um, subscriptions is not getting anything because all the subscriptions between last payday and this payday have already been paid and I don't have any more coming out actually until next payday. So, um, I am going to fill this out. These trackers are available on my Etsy shop as well, but, um, you list your, um, subscription name, the amount, the date it's due, and then if it's monthly or annually, and 
is it like auto drafted from your account and then you put your monthly your total monthly due so um anyways so rent let me go ahead and pull everything out of here okay so i have my rent and i am going to fill this out but so rent will be getting 825 so one two three here this will be faster three four five six seven eight 825 and this is because I did already save 775 from previous paydays so let's make sure that we have the total amounts so we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 550, 570, 590, 595, $1,600, which is the correct amount. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out quickly. Grab a pen. My rent is due on the 15th of every month, and it is $1,600. Um, so how you figure this out is you take your total mortgage or rent and I was wrong I do need this so you're going to take 1600 and divide it by four because that's how many houses so each house is worth $400 saving so this it can be a way for you to pay down your mortgage because it has your interest rate in your loan amount as well and you can save up for it the month prior or if you're trying to save ahead for your bills you can do that as well on here that way you can start working to paying each month ahead of time so let's go ahead and use i'm gonna use pink because i like pink <laughs> um actually no i'm gonna use my blue one so each one so since I already, I'm finishing it, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. And I will mark it paid because I am paying this tomorrow. Okay, so this is January's and since I don't have a mortgage and I am renting, I'm not gonna fill out this down below. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over. We'll put all of this back. Okay. So we do have 1600 in rent and it is due. Today is the 13th, so I'm paying it tomorrow. And it's due technically on the 15th, but I like to pay it early. Oh, whoops. I don't know why I put that there. It goes over here. I was like, why isn't it fitting right? That's because it goes over here. <laughs> um, so phone is not due and I did already pay it so I need to fill this out but I'll do that after school is going to be getting $60 this is my daughter's homeschooling tuition her grandmother and I both split it so it is due and it is $60 okay internet is due and it is $100 and I have a tracker in here so I'm gonna fill that out okay so 100 so since my rent, my internet is $100, I owe $100, and it is due on the 19th of the month, and each one is $25, and since I am paying the total amount, I do have it, and I'm just going to keep it blue for January. So everything for January is going to be blue to color in. Once again, I'm filling, I'm doing this video super late. And I have horrible vision. <laughs> I just colored it in so horribly. That's okay. So <laughs> rent is 100, or um, internet is 100. And so my provider that I use is Spectrum. And mine is not auto pay. I 
do go online and pay it myself. I know people say you can get a discount if your bills are in auto pay. Mine are not because I am very low income and I don't know if I'm going to have the money in there at the time and I may have to pay like a late fee and stuff but I don't always have it in there and I'd rather not pay the overdraft fee. So electric is not getting anything, glass is not getting anything. My M loan is due and it is $100. This is a personal loan to a family member that loaned me some money over the year and I pay them $100 a month. Car insurance is due and I have my trackers in here. So car insurance, I'm not gonna call it like my policy number and stuff right now um, or my premium, but I know that my payment is $98 and some odd cents. So I'm gonna do $100 as that um the date that it's due is on the 21st no the 24th i'm sorry so 124 is when it's due it is not auto paid and it's not paid yet so um i'm gonna go ahead and leave that be until i do pay it but this is what it looks like and then this is my car insurance saving challenge so this is so I can save up to pay for my premium uh, in full the next time because I you get a discount and then you get rid of another monthly payment and that's my goal since we are low income. I would like to be able to get rid of as many um, payments as possible to make things a little bit more affordable. So it's getting $100. So I will be probably paying my premium or saving for it here soon. Okay, so water and sewage is not getting anything. This gets paid next payday. Moving on to gas, we'll be getting $50. I did fill up not too long ago. My car is at like three quarters of the tank, so I don't need it yet, but I will. Eating out is not getting anything. Necessities, you guys, has something left over in it. It does have $30 left over. I am rolling this over because I know I'm going to need it. So 50, 70, 90 is what it's getting this time. So necessities now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. I have to get laundry detergent, diapers, wipes, never ends. And I just bought dog food. So um, Luna's not getting anything because I literally just got it like yesterday. I ordered it off of Chewy because I got a discount. So I think that that's where we're going to go now for her dog food. Um, Grosh is not getting anything. So I want to explain to any of my new subscribers. I do get food stamps and WIC because we are a family of six. And we don't make very much. Um, we, we are a low income family, but we don't get enough to actually pay for our groceries. It definitely helps so I buy our meat and pantry items like cereal things like snacks for the kids and all my meat and then when I'm able to I put money in groceries and I help buy like things to go with it so if we need like burger buns but I have the burgers um, if I need something small like I need to go pick up milk or things like that I'll use WIC veggies and fruit are on WIC um, some cheeses on WIC and then this pretty much gets anything extra so like if I want to do tomato soup and grilled cheese wick will pay for the bread and the cheese and then I would just need to buy the can of tomato soup so that's how I make it with little bit of groceries I also just went grocery shopping two days ago and I spent $86 so there isn't anything in here because I spent all of it Luna's not getting anything I'm not getting anything but my hubby my fiance is he has a expense that comes out every two weeks and it's $90. So he's getting his $90. Okay. Oh, okay, $90. And that's it for this binder. So if you missed my last video and you don't follow me on Instagram, you did not get to see these. These are my new envelopes that I made. I love them. So Starbucks is not getting anything. I do work at Starbucks. So this is something that will be receiving money because when I'm not working, I do like to go there because I get a discount. 
so it's not getting anything this time but it will um snowball we'll be getting 55 dollars so 55 so snowball now has 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 dollars in snowball that i will be paying on a credit card I, when I pay that credit card, I will fill this out. I need to look at which one is my smallest one right now so I can apply it to that one. So 65 in here. Emergency will be getting $15. So 10 and a five. So emergency now is 50, 70, 85. We're almost to $100. I'm so happy, so proud of myself. If you're interested in these envelopes, they are on my Etsy shop. A uh, new car just has $50. We are a family of six, but and we need a three-road car, and we do not have one. So I have to save to get a new car, but our credit isn't good enough to get a loan. And we also need a lot for the down payment because of our credit. So I'm saving for that. In the meantime, while I tackle Snowball. So, um, car maintenance does not have anything. Date night does not have anything. My daughter, Ava, she is getting $5. She does have more money than her sisters, and that's because she adds money in here. for Her birthday just happened, so she added $10. She also cashed in her biggie bank before Christmas, and she wanted to add her $5. So, she's adding to this, not just me. So, hers, she has $10, 20 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, $40 in Ava's. She is seven. I have a big goal in mind. So every tax return, I'll stuff what I need for that year to get me to the goal by 16. My goal is $10,000 for each of my kids by the time they're 16. I have a long ways to go. But So Alexandria, she's three and a half. She is getting $5, so she now has 10.25 and then let me see so next is Anastasia she should have 20 as well and then she will be getting man I can't get it out of um, she'll be getting 5 as well so she now has 25 now that I finally have money in sinking funds, you guys, I will be doing a sinking funds update. I haven't done one of those in forever because I haven't been able to stuff money. So I'm excited about that. $5 is going into my daughter, Ariana. She's four months. She now has 25. Okay. And then family time is not getting anything. Um, birthdays does have some money left over. I'll count it for you. Birthdays has 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So this was left over for my daughter's birthday, but she has a birthday party that she's going to on the 21st. So she's going to have to get her uh, birthday present and that's going to come out of birthdays. So, and my daughter, Alexandria, she's turning four in March. So we also have another birthday coming. <laughs> Um, household does not have anything. Holidays doesn't have anything. Vacation does not. Wedding. Saving challenge. And Duncan. I did make a Duncan because Duncan is two blocks away from me. But I am... I go to Starbucks most of the time. But if I go to Duncan, it'll be for like donut holes for the girls and things like that. We just don't do it very often. But I do have it in case I want to stuff it. I am going to be doing my saving challenge next payday um so it's to save five hundred dollars in the year um i'm not sure what it's going to be for i'm very low income so i can't afford to do a lot but each month has a each week has a category that you're supposed to stuff and a dollar amount and so i will be doing that soon to fill out this one and i'll have to do the entire month of january 
because I forgot to do it this month, but I will be starting every week in February. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am excited to start hitting my sinking funds really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. I have all pretty much everything down below, linked down below. So anything that you see will be linked down below if you're interested in it. And yeah, but I will see you guys in my next video. And I think that my next video, I'm going to really, really try. I've been saying this for months, but I promise it's coming. I am gonna be doing my debt update video. It's been over a year since I've done it. And <clears throat> it's also been over a year since I know where my debt is. I haven't looked at it because I've been avoiding it. So I have to stop avoiding it in order to get ahead of it. So that is coming. Um, yes. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.